Hello, my name's Andy. Today I'm going to be opening my keg of Adam's Ghost Ship. I should have worn my Ghost Ship t-shirt, shouldn't I? Never mind. So, the first mistake we've made is to put the keg in position where we can't read the instructions at the back. So, now I'm going to see if I can see around the back to read them without moving it, as you have to leave it for 24 hours to settle. So one, first ventilate by lifting the top tab and turn from 0 to 1. So lift the top tab, this is the top tab, and lifting it. Turning it from naught. <sighs> that was good, wasn't it? Naught to one. Two. Break the bottom tab and gently do something. I better read it better now. We have to be very careful because on Monday my dad had an incident with a keg of broadside where eight pints of beer were spread across him and across the kitchen through there. I don't know whether Sarah can just catch the kitchen. Yes, it was on top of the fridge so it went all on the ceiling, all on the back wall and spread all across the kitchen, all over the shop. Eight pints of broadside everywhere. So it's already fizzing over the top so I'm going to hurry. Break the bottom tab and gently pull something. Where's the glass, Sarah? Now, what's it say next? Should I just pour it? Yeah, it's going to pour it. Seems to have worked. The broadside is definitely coming out. Go ship. Go ship's definitely coming out. Best pint of oh, pint of beer ever poured there, darling. <laughs> well, it's the first one. The first one might get some sediment. So let's get a glass and we'll do the next one. Now time to do mine. Yeah, this one's much better, isn't it? Certainly getting a lot of ghost ship odour coming from it. Classic ghost ship odour. Probably a bit quicker. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. No sediment in this one, that's good. Tastes good. Two thumbs up. <laughs>